Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome to another casual Sundays discussion. Today we'll talk about orchid seeds. But before we go ahead and do that, I would just like to extend a shout out to John and Judy, which were our supporters uh, on Orchid Nature this week. Thank you guys so, so much. It means so much to me, really. You are very generous. And I cannot wait to move into my greenhouse and start a new chapter in this orchid hobby. And this will actually help me, so thank you so, so much. Alrighty, let's get back to the subject. So, first of all, I will tell you a little bit about how orchid seeds work, so you have a better understanding on it, and then I'll tell you why I decided to do this video. Okay, so first of all, just like any other flowering plant, orchids can be pollinated as well. And in their natural habitat, they do rely on their flowers to get pollinated by moths, butterflies, flies, whatever. So they do produce seeds. Now, when people propagate orchids, they can pollinate them themselves. It's actually a pretty easy process. Now, after pollination, the flower will start to wilt and prepare itself to produce the seeds. Now, the seeds will form in a seed pot, and I do have a sort of an attempt along the way I tried it. You can see on the screen right now how a seed pot looks like. Uh, mine didn't fully mature, but that's another story. So, a few days after pollination, you will start to observe the seed pod forming. Now, the seeds can take up to a few months to fully develop into the seed pod, and then they will be ready for sowing. Now, if you split open a seed pod, you will notice that the seeds are really like nothing you've ever seen before. They absolutely look like dust. There's millions of them and they're so, so tiny that they just look like dust. So when you open it, everything will practically fly away. Now, I don't have my own seeds to show you at the moment, but I'll add an annotation on the screen right here, also a link in the description, a video made by Maria here on YouTube where you can actually see how the seeds look like. So if you're interested to actually see how they look like, just check that video out. Now, here comes the tricky part. In their natural habitat, these seeds rely on a particular type of fungus to develop. This fungus actually provides the nutrients that they need to develop and sprout and transform into mature orchids. Now, if you try to plant these seeds in soil, in your pots, in your garden, wherever, they will not sprout because you do not have that particular type of fungus. Now, I'm not referring here to the lucky people who actually live in the natural habitat of these orchids, but for the rest of us who grow orchids in our home and in other regions, this will not happen, unfortunately. So what people do is actually collect the seeds and they germinate them in a laboratory. First of all, they need to sterilize them because not all fungi are good and some of them actually attack seeds so they need to sterilize everything everything is made in a sterile environment and then they need to prepare a special media in which these seeds will germinate and this type of media practically substitutes that fungi it provides the nutrients needed by the seeds to germinate so the process is pretty laborious and pretty impossible for beginner with orchids in your normal home. It's kind of hard to obtain. And even in a laboratory or a special environment, these seeds will take a few years to actually grow into fully mature plants. So now that you know a little bit about this process, you can now understand why orchid seeds are not available to the public. I don't think you've ever seen them for sale. However, there is an instance where you'll see them for sale, and this brings me to why I wanted to make this subject. So a while ago, one of my viewers told me they purchased orchid seeds from eBay, and they planted them in regular soil, and they started to sprout. And I asked them to send me a picture of it, and what I saw was some sort of plant, but it was definitely not an orchid. So now that you know how the process of growing orchids from seeds implies, you can kind of suspect that people selling seeds on eBay are nothing but scams, really. Now, there might be some people who sell seed pots, uh, of course, but if they show you a picture of some seeds that you can actually see, most of the times it is just a scam. So before you go ahead and purchase these seeds and think that you'll have Phalaenopsis orchids or Oncidium orchids just like that, no, it is impossible, I'm sorry to tell you this, and research further what the type of orchid that seller sells and so on. Because maybe there are some species in this world which produce big seeds, but Honestly, I can assure you that the species we commonly own, like Phalaenopsis, Oncidiums, Dendrobiums, Vandas, whatever you can imagine, uh, that we actually find in stores, do not produce big seeds and cannot be grown in a normal home in normal soil. 
There was also a comment from one of my viewers recently who asked me if I know who sells orchid seeds because they received a project from school to try to germinate orchids from seeds. And I had to explain to my viewer uh, how the process works and actually I advised him to talk to the teacher because maybe she or he was not aware that orchids cannot be germinated just like that in a normal home. Now I'm not sure if the professor knew about this or if they knew they just wanted to experiment with how orchid seeds actually grow. If you do want to experiment with that and you know the process, that's really, really good. Just be aware that you will definitely finish school before you will see any flowers on the plants. That's the only downside, but I think it's a fun project to do. And actually there are people who actually germinate orchid seeds in their home. Of course, you kind of need some special conditions, but I will share with you in the description below some links on how to prepare the media, how to prepare the seed pods and so on. But just keep in mind that people selling seeds on eBay might be just scams. Most of the times they are just scams. And if you want to experiment with orchid seeds, do go ahead. I think it's fun. All you need to do is have a little bit of know-how and a lot of patience, but there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm actually going to experiment next year when I'll have my greenhouse. I'll see if I can manage to get them to germinate. We shall see. But now you know how things work and hopefully you will not get scammed on eBay or other stores. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Hope this was useful to you. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and why not share it to spread the word on orchid seeds so maybe people will not get scammed anymore on eBay. If you'd like to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. Also, feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And if you click on the right side of your screen, you can watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!